Hi everyone, I'm Lorenzo, and in this video, I'm going to talk about all James Bond games for the 360. James Bond Quantum of Solace might feel weird the first seconds you play, but then, after you get used to it, it's a pretty awesome game. The best way to describe the game would be that the game is a shoot 'em up. You gun down wave after wave of enemy. But isn't the game repetitive then? Well, yes, on paper. But in practice, it never felt repetitive. I mean, even if I was doing the same thing, it kept me hooked. I didn't want anything else from the game. The only downside to it is that it's short. The game takes you around 4 to 6 hours to beat it. It's short and sweet, but still, it could have been longer. The gameplay is badass. It's full of explosions and guerrilla warfare, you get different sorts of weapons, destructible stuff in the levels, if you like to watch action movies, you love this game. It gives you the same feeling as watching a good movie of this sort. And same goes for the second game, Bloodstone. This one, being the sequel, has brought some major improvements to make the experience even better. Right from the start you'll notice that the controls feel better, and the animations seem more fluid. The melee attacks have been replaced from a minigame to just an attack, also you have vehicular levels in the game now, that do a great job to spice things up and make the game feel more varied. Also Bond can use his smartphone to gather information and hack surveillance cameras. You could hack into cameras in Quantum of Solace 2, but there, when you did, you could only watch what the camera sees. Here, you hack into cameras to disable them. You don't watch through them, you short circuit them. Another difference between Quantum of Solace and Bloodstone is that now you can throw grenades anymore. But even if they took something out, they added something way cooler. By taking down enemies with melee attacks, you can fill up the ability to shoot in slow motion. It's useful and it looks cool. But even if this game feels improved over Quantum of Solace, one flaw remains. It's too short. It takes you again around 4 to 6 hours to beat the game. But yeah, as I said with the other one, it's short and sweet. It feels more varied, it's action packed, and if you are into action movies, you'll definitely like this game. GoldenEye Reloaded is just like the other two. It's awesome and explosive, fast paced and fun, just like all of the games on this list. But it's also just like the other games on this list, meaning too short. I have to say that the games make you feel rather um, feel like you're playing Call of Duty and not a game with spies. You don't really feel like a spy, you feel like a soldier. Sure, you can stealth take down enemies and you are free to choose how you want to tackle a level. But once you get to shooting, you will feel like in a Call of Duty game. It's not a bad thing, I mean, Call of Duty has good gameplay, but some more secret agent stuff would have been even cooler and maybe more fitting to the James Bond character. Though I can't complain about the game, it's awesome. I had a lot of fun playing it, just like in the rest of them. And the last one is James Bond Legends, which is just like the other ones. Basically, if you play all of them, one after the other, then they add up to a nice amount of hours well spent. If the games average a 5 hour campaign and you have 4 games, that equals 20. Thus, 20 hours of gameplay. If you were to merge all 4 games into one, the result will be a monster experience with secret agent stuff, explosions and killer action. As a conclusion, if the gameplay you saw in the video wasn't convincing enough, well, just know from me, I recommend the games, they are fun. Their only downside is that they are short, taking you around 4 to 6 hours to finish a game. Ok, so this was the video, if you liked it, please hit the like button and subscribe, if you want to support me in my pursuit to review as many video games as possible, click the join button. 
and choose one of the perks. You have the link to the join button in the description. Also you can follow me on Twitch, Instagram or Discord if you want. And if you want to see another video of mine, just wait till I stop talking and there will be thumbnails of other videos I've made. Thanks for watching.